Good day, everybody, and welcome to the syllabus video. We're going to just go through the syllabus very quickly. Um, this is, you know, the same one. If you want to follow along, there's no notes page for this one. It's the syllabus. So grab a copy, go along with me. All right, the basics. Now, I did say there's no required textbook, and there isn't. Uh, for this class, instead of having textbooks, I'd like to focus on professional references and uh, resources. More on that in the sources video. But I do know that there are, it's kind of nice sometimes to have a textbook and kind of have all that information organized in one spot. Some people find it beneficial. So if you would like one, this is, again, not a requirement. I just recommend either uh, Geriatric Nutrition by Ronnie Chernoff or Advanced Nutrition and Human Metabolism by Gropper, Smith, and Carr. Uh, I found both of these to be very, very useful books, but again, you don't have to have them, and you know, uh, there's like no affiliate link or anything for this, so check them out if you'd like to, don't. It's up to you. So, how does the class work? There are four units in the class. Those are the, the, large, the largest segment of the class. Four of those, each unit has a unit assignment, a group discussion, and two to four modules in it. Inside the modules are the lectures, any supplemental videos that tie to the module, and most of them will have quizzes. Uh, as far as grades go and assigned work, all graded work is due for a unit on the specified Sunday in your schedule or yeah, in the schedule, bleh, at Sunday at 11.59 p.m. That specified Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Not midnight. Uh, midnight apparently is a bridge too far for black Blackboard and, uh, I don't know, it tears reality apart or something. So Sunday at 11.59. After that, the unit will lock. You'll still be able to turn things in. However, it will scold you for it, and it will tell me. And we'll come, no late work is going to be accepted unless prior arrangements have been made or there's an emergency. And, and I don't mean none ever know. What I mean by that is if you just don't turn something in and I don't know why, then yeah, it's, I'm probably not going to accept it. But if you have told me that there's an issue, uh, what I ran into a lot, for example, during COVID is that people would get sick. They wouldn't think anything like, hey, uh, I have COVID, so I'm going to be doing this as best I can. Um, you know, let me know. Just I understand that you won't be able to an emergency say, and I will ha have this emergency finished by Thursday at three. I get it. Things happen, but do keep me in the loop because for the interest of, of fairness, I want to make sure everybody has the same amount of time and the same windows that they're expected to fit in. Aside from that, uh, I don't have any really re real requirements on when you do things. You can do your assignment and turn it in as soon as the unit opens. You can wait till Sunday at 11.59. That's up to you. That you know, You're completely flexible in that. Within the unit, you can turn it in anytime you want to. Uh, grading. Uh, that's the grading breakdown there. I do want to note, and we'll come back to this again, that module quizzes are, the whole, the average of all the quizzes is 10% of your grade, okay? And uh, there also is, to take from this way, there is no extra credit. Don't ask for it. It doesn't exist. I've never had anyone ask for it, but I, you know, it's there. It's out now. There isn't any. Don't, don't ask. All right, so group discussions. Uh, within each unit, there is a group discussion, and I get how much people love these. Um, I was the same way. But these group discussions, I'd like you to consider when I'm at, what the questions I'm asking in the group discussions are real open questions. Gerontology is a very young uh, field of study, ironically, and there's a lot of open questions that we don't really have good answers to at the time. All of these questions are in the discussions are ones that are being actively discussed in the field right now. 
what uh, what am I looking for in the discussions? You, know, you saw those are graded. I'm looking for thoughtful, relevant comments, uh, maintaining a professional, respectful tone. The uh, grade is going to be assessed by participation involvement, and uh, I'm not going to be in there. I used to be in there, but I felt like I tilted the conversation one way or the other, which yeah, may, makes sense. If you're discussing something, the instructor is in there saying, oh, this is what I think. It's natural to kind of head that direction, and I don't want to because, again, there, whether I, what, no matter what I feel, blah, 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 um, it doesn't matter. That is one person's opinion, take on the evidence we have, but these aren't settled topics. So I, I enjoy ha having them hashed out, and I want to hear your thoughts on it. Hey, quizzes. Uh, each module will have a quiz, except modules one and modules eight. Uh, they may be multiple choice, fill in the blank, or matching. If you have a question or concern about it, uh, please ask whether it's while you're doing it and you, and you ask a question, or if it's after the fact, you're like, I don't understand what that was. I don't get what the question was trying to ask. Let me know. I can always go back in and look at it, explain what, what the question was about. If you feel like you don't understand why you got something wrong, maybe talk to me about it. The whole point of the quizzes was um, from a from previous classes that said, we'd like to have a practice run at this before we do the unit assignment. So this is more about testing your knowledge than anything else. The entire quiz average is 10%. So don't waste, a, you know, definitely ask if you don't understand something, but don't spend a lot of time on a quiz grade on one question trying to get that, those points. You're better, your time is better spent working on the unit assignment. The unit assignments, speaking of which. Uh, each unit assignment is a case study, and you're going to be asked to do an assessment followed by some short essay questions. The questions and the scenario will vary between units, so don't get too comfortable in them. Make sure you read the questions. Uh, they do change. The Nutrition Care Plan Project is the final exam for the class. Uh, there are different scenarios. You will be randomly assigned a patient with multiple comorbidities. Today's not my day. Well, with multiple comorbidities to assess and follow. These histories will be sent out within Unit 4. If you haven't gotten your uh, patient history by the time it says on the, on the syllabus and the schedule, please contact me because that means something went wrong. Blackboard doesn't announce when it sent them out. It just, I have told it, you know, I've given it instructions. I have told it to do so. That doesn't mean it will. So... Uh, if you haven't gotten it, please let me know. Surveys. Uh, there will be three surveys in the class. There's um, the end of semester survey from Texas Tech. This is my grade. If you've done other in, uh, in class surveys, this is when the person giving the survey comes in, the teacher goes out, you fill out the survey, turn it in. Um, this is completely anonymous. I don't get these results until a um, at least a month after the class is over. So don't be honest about it. Be straightforward. Don't don't worry about, I'm not going to come back and get you for something. It's fine. I, I won't even know. Um, there's a mid-semester survey and a separate end of, of semester survey. And those are mine. I have done those. And those are for I want your input on how you feel the class has gone. What went well, what didn't, um, what could I improve on in the future? A lot of things in the class now are things that have come from suggestions of previous classes. The quizzes, the Zoom meetings, which we'll get to in a second here, um, those come from the surveys. So if you have ideas on things that would help in the future, please, please let me know. I, this is a constant evolving process and I'm always trying to change it to make it better. And again, these are anonymous. They, it randomizes the answers. So even if you put something in there, I wouldn't know who whose answer went where. It, it randomizes it each time. So I won't know. Feel free to be honest about it. If you think it sucks, tell me it sucks. It's, it's fine. Um, questions. You know, you have that questions, class questions and answers forum. Um, please... 
feel free to post questions in there. I will check that regularly. Again, you can always send a question to me, but if it's a question about something with an assignment or something you're not getting that, that's not working for you in the class, I'd really prefer you put it there simply because if you have that question, somebody else definitely does as well. And we can answer that. We can answer the question then for everybody. Um, again, the only thing I won't talk about in those kinds of public forums are grades that we will do privately. Collaboration in this cl uh, class is really encouraged. I do like students to share ideas, bounce things off of each other. That's how it works professionally. And we're not all like lone wolves running around out there. We have coworkers. We have people that we consult with. Feel free. Uh, you go ahead. You do have to turn in an assignment, so I have something to put in Blackboard for your grade. Uh, but if you want to collaborate with someone, go ahead. All right, an emergency. Uh, if you have an emergency, I would recommend the Texas Tech email. Um, that's my email address there. If there is an emergency, please note that it is an emergency um, because I, so I know this is important. Get to it right away. Uh, I'll get back to you within 24 hours almost every time. I know the breakdown says 24 hours or 40 on the weekend. I usually get back to you within 24 hours or less. All right, so Zooms. We will have a Zoom meeting during each unit. I will unapologetically refer to these as Zoomies because I have cats. Um, these are completely voluntary. They don't affect your grade at all. This is, again, a suggestion that came from a class. that said we would like to have more interaction and more chance to ask questions as they come to us, more chance to work together. That's what this is. This, think of this as kind of like a study hall plus office hours. Uh, I don't have a time for you yet. I will have that time and I will send it out to you with invites once we I have everybody's schedule and I can give a, the best time for everyone. It won't be perfect. It's going to be the best, fairest time I can get for all of the class. Move. Thank, thank you. Okay, so what do I want for this? Um, obviously, I want you to learn about geriatric patients and gerontological nutrition. I want, to, I want to encourage you to see the older patient as a unique individual with their own unique challenges, goals, wants. It's very easy when you're talking about a demographic to see that demographic as a whole and, and forget that these are people. And I want that. I want you to have that ability and that skill. I, I really like gerontology. I like working with this demographic group. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think it was a good a, a valuable use of time. And I want you to have fun. I want you to have fun as much as possible while you can, while taking a class. You know, if you're not having at least some amount of good time, then why are we doing this, right? I, I enjoy doing this. I hope that comes across to you. And I hope that you have as good a time as possible while doing it. And guys, that is the syllabus. I will catch you all on the next one. And have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Oh, and, and, and. Yeah, that's right. The national fruit of India is the mango. I, I almost forgot. All right. You have a good one. See you later. Bye.